Hey guys, this is Huang and this is the channel about how to immigrate to Canada and today we're gonna talk about the business by immigrants or how immigrants more likely to start a business and create jobs than those born in Canada. The entrepreneurial landscape in Canada is growing increasingly diverse thanks to immigrants, a new study by the Business Development Bank of Canada shows. Newcomers to Canada are more likely to start a business that grows more quickly and creates more net jobs per enterprise than the Canadian born population according to the study. The BDC says the entrepreneurial rate among newcomers is more than double the rate for people born in Canada, meaning immigrants are twice as likely to take steps to bring an entrepreneurial project to life. This could be looking into starting a business or acquiring a business or equipment, anything that could get a business off the ground. In 2018, the number of newcomer entrepreneurs grew to 251,600, a 22% increase since 2006, with immigrants expected to account for up to 80% of Canada's population growth by 2032, BDC projects this trend will continue to fuel entrepreneurship in Canada over the next decades. As Canada becomes increasingly diverse, its entrepreneur class will follow suit, BDC writes. Along with immigrants, more women, millennials and older Canadians are also embarking on entrepreneurial pursuits. BDC looked at job satisfaction for entrepreneurs and found that while running a business is highly stressful, entrepreneurs often report feeling professional satisfied. About 90% of entrepreneurs said they were professionally satisfied over all they enjoyed managing their business, they are motivated to work every day and they feel satisfied with their business progress. Entrepreneurs also report being motivated by more than just money, independence, autonomy, flexibility, as well as passion and self-fulfillment were the top motivators driving entrepreneurship. The road to owning a successful business is not easy, however, three quarters of the entrepreneurs surveyed said they had to deal with financial insecurity, overwhelming stress, and lack of benefits compared to those employed by a company. Roughly a third of new businesses go under within five years and less than half are still open after 10 years. However, there are certain acquirable skill set that contribute to entrepreneurial success and satisfaction. Goal-oriented people who prove resilient when faced with failure and setbacks and who do not get discouraged in the face of adversity are more likely to succeed as entrepreneurs. Much work has been done studying the relationship between entrepreneurship and greed. With overwhelmingly positive findings, greed describes the passion and perseverance that people exhibit in pursuing long-term goals. The BDC study refers to the work of Angela Lee Duckworth, who started out observing what traits kept first-year cadets from dropping out of the military. Her research found that greed grows with age, but didn't conclude if it was innate or learned. Whether or not greed can be learned, one thing is certain. Entrepreneurs need a good dose of courage and hard work to start a business, BDC wrote in the study. If courage cannot be learned, the skills necessary to grow a business can. BDC found there is a strong link between an entrepreneur's level of satisfaction and their level of managerial and technical skills. The technical skills BDC assessed included financial management, sales and marketing, human resources management, operations management, strategic planning. They grouped the 11 managerial skills studied into the following four categories. Organizational management, leadership and people management, innovation, networking. Managerial skills in innovation and networking working positively influence sales growth. Innovation and organizational management skills significantly increase entrepreneurial satisfaction. So guys, as you can see, statistically, immigrants are opening more businesses than local people. So I would say the immigration is a positive impact on both the economy of the Canada as well as the population growth that the Canadian government expects by 2032 and in the future. More people are involved in growing, the country becoming stronger and it impacts positively for everyone so this is the win-win situation for everyone once again and i believe that more immigration programs are coming very soon and just to remind you that we can help you with that by providing different type of services we just started applying our clients cases under the rural northern immigration pilot program as there are some provinces to be exact five of them started the rnap program since november 1st but more information will be available later on more information about our services and packages that we provide you'll be able to get in the description down below under this video if you like this video please 
please share with your friends subscribe to our channel like this video and this is it for today there was Huang. there was the channel about how to immigrate to canada and i'll see you in the next video